Hey, what's up guys, Mixelpix here, and now today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a short guide on how to reach Guardian of Athena rank 20 in a short amount of time, and how we did it live on our Twitch page, uh, which you know, has this kind of, you know, from the very beginning showing us just how we did it. Uh, we didn't do it alliance, we didn't do it with a crew bigger than a sloop. Uh, and it was more about efficiency and just clever use of game mechanics, which really made this uh, quite powerful of a method. Now, uh, again, uh, this is going to take a bit to explain. It might be a little bit confusing, and I might even do a written format for you uh, to kind of uh, read off. But it's very simple, very easy. And once you get the hang of it, you're going to burn through it uh, fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and get it started. Now, the first things you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to find an uh, outpost spawn at either Plunder or Ancient and start yourself in Thieves Haven uh, Athena run. Now you're probably thinking, why do this? Why not do this over a, a normal Athena? Uh, basically this is gonna full on straight out of the gate. It's gonna start giving you Athena rep because every piece actually gives you a substantial amount of gain on your Emissary 5, which is ultimately the goal here. Um, so basically, what you're going to want to do, TLDR, uh, or just kind of a shorter version, is you're going to want to complete this Thieves Haven run, which means you'll need the green light, the red light. Uh, you'll need to go back and forth between one of the four or five different islands, uh, including clearing out Thieves Haven. One thing I do recommend here is you don't pick up gems uh, unless you really need the currency. Um, this is not meant to be a money-making um, uh kind of farming method what we did here you kind of accept the loss because if you want to make gold you got to do a different faction like reaper bones you make so much money it's actually kind of insane so for this run you're gonna what you're gonna want to do here is you're gonna want to complete your thieves haven run which should take you you know depending on how fast you are about 30 minutes you know, an hour two hours or so but this is the most crucial part now what we did here is we did actually clear all of this because again, a rep is a rep. And when you get MS35, you're getting 2.5 reputation bonus. Uh, this is going to really add up over the course of your grind and it's just going to make things easier. So I really do recommend not cutting corners and just kind of completing it because getting kegs and villies actually make a substantial amount of difference. Now, after you uh, have completed your Thieves Haven run, I would recommend going to plunder outpost and have everything ready to sell, uh, to sell uh, straight out of the gate. Now, approaching the outpost, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, uh, before you sell, I would uh, take, you know, take an, you know, either a treasure chest or whatever you want to sell uh, directly. Uh, go to the mysterious uh, stranger, grab his emissary five quest, and then begin to offload all that you have farmed. Now, after you have done that, you're going to want to uh, pick up the voyage, which you should already have done. Uh, go ahead and actually bring down your flag now this is a mechanic they didn't really explain too well um you kind of had to either have tested this or done it yourself or know about it or have been told about it uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to bring down your flag and you will receive a large sum of gold around 10 to 15 thousand usually 15 thousand uh, i'm pretty sure it's a static amount and then from there you're going to get a chunk of some serious athena rep now this could be done for any reputation uh, any of them, including Order Souls, Merchant, etc. Uh, you're going to want to reset your five all the time. It, it's free rep. It's huge. It's free money. You want to do it, and you want to continuously continue to do it because uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. All right, so after you've uh, turned down your flag, you've got your sizable amount of rep. You're going to want to put it back up, and you should have an emissary uh, Athena grade five voyage in your voyage wheel. And that is going to be your next thing of choice. Now, depending on where you started, you're going to want to go to those three different islands, which will then lead to a single island with two different X's. Now these X's uh, at the very end will be a keg and an Athena, but leading up to that, uh, depending on how good your or high your luck stat is, uh, so to speak, uh, you can get yourself up to three different kegs uh, on a single voyage, as well as uh, I think the most we've seen was five villies or Athena villies uh, per run, and just a lot of normal like normal relics, you know, other relics, etc. And from there, you're gonna want to load up, finish that up, and go to the nearest outpost. Now, one of the things we would like to say here is you want to kind of do this in an area like uh, Shores of Plenty, the Ancient, you know, anything you deem 
uh, good, I would do that. Try to avoid big islands if possible. What we use is Golden Sands and Sanctuary. Um, Plunder is also not that bad either, uh, considering if you've done Athena, uh, Athena uh, runs at Thieves Haven, you kind of know this area quite well. Um, but trying to pick up, you know, find a biome or a section of the map that really benefits you and target those uh, areas uh, with this particular thing. So once your boat is stocked up, you're going to want to go to uh, the emissary vendor, talk to him, grab another voyage after you've completed it and bank your loot and rinse repeat. And that is the method of how we hit rank 20 in Guardian of Athena. Uh, Athena's fortune now this is a crazy grind it is actually super efficient um, doing a normal Athena just I mean it's good but it's very RNG based this gives you guaranteed Athena items which makes this pretty uh, pretty OP of a method um, when you do normal Athena's right now it's very random uh, as, as far as I know um, I haven't actually done one and then from what I've heard DR doesn't actually get the rank 5 emissary quest um, I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not uh, we just kind of heard it from word of mouth, so we didn't bother doing it. Uh, but there you guys have it. You know, we've been getting so many different questions on it during our live stream. That is, <laughs> I figured we'd make a short video that kind of explained it. And I wanted to kind of show it off because um, this method can be used for just about every different uh, faction in some shape or form. Uh, but with Athena, this is how we achieved rank 20. Got ourselves all the Athena weapons and equipment pieces. So uh, if you guys want to show us some support, consider j jumping over to our Twitch live streams, which is our new home for live streaming. Uh, we've been going pretty hard at it. Uh, we're trying to complete almost all the different factions and uh, just have a lot of fun with Sea of Thieves. This latest patch has been a lot of fun and it's been truly uh, great getting these new uh, cosmetics. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more uh, see these related content in either in the form of highlights or guides or just kind of little tips and tricks kind of things um which we will be uh producing in the near future so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one